What is this? What does it look like? Is it real? Very. Okay, so what? Angel's got their hands on some DeLoreans? How did I get here? Time is fluid, Dean. It's not easy, but we can bend it on occasion. We'll bend it back. Or tell me what the hell I'm doing here. I told you. You have to stop it. Stop what? Oh, what is there, something nasty after my dad? Oh, come on, what are you, allergic to straight answers, you son of a... Hello, Dean. What were you dreaming about? You get your freak on by watching other people sleep. What do you want? Listen to me. You have to stop it. Stop what? Move it, buddy. You can't sleep here. Okay. Sleep where? Anywhere but here. Can you uh, tell me where I can get reception on this thing? The USS Enterprise? Thanks. Nice threats. You know, Sonny and Cher broke up, right? <laughs> Sonny and Cher broke up?
she's gonna get through that door. I know. And she's gonna kill you, and then she's gonna kill me. This is Castiel's goodbye, and it's his sacrifice. Um, he's sacrificing himself for Dean. You know, ever since we met, ever since I pulled you out of hell, knowing you has changed me. I have always kind of imagined that that's how Castiel's ending would be on the show, and I'm really grateful that the scene uh, played out the way it did. Why does this sound like a goodbye? Because it is. That night of shooting was really, really emotional. And it was my last day of shooting on Supernatural. It was also uh, right before production got shut down um, because of COVID. And we had a convention that night um, you, where we had to jump on a plane to get to Las Vegas. Um, this. That was the last. That was the last convention that we did before the convention circuit got shut down uh, due to COVID. Who are you? I'm the one who gripped you tight and raised you from perdition. Yeah. Thanks for that. You know, ever since we met, ever since I pulled you out of hell, knowing you has changed me. Because you cared, I cared. I cared about you. I cared about Sam, I cared about Jack. But I cared about the whole world because of you. <laughs> you changed me, Dean. And it, it was kind of cuspy at that moment. Like, are, are, are they gonna have this convention happen or not? Is it too dangerous with COVID? And we were just like right on that edge, but in the end, they, they decided to move forward with the convention. So we had a late night of shooting and we all said goodbye to Castiel. I said goodbye to the crew and, um, and it, was, it was a lot, it was a lot. Like uh, the scene was very emotional and people were crying um, on set because the scene itself was emotional, but there were also tears on set because everybody was saying goodbye. And then we got on, uh, they had chartered a flight for us and uh, because we had a very tight window to get to the convention and it was a late night of shooting. And we got on the flight and we toasted again as we took off and we were about 10 minutes into the flight when there was a huge explosion and, um, and a rattling sound and a flash of light. And one of the engines had literally exploded and like twisted gnarled metal and there was a shuddering and shrieking of the airplane and we we banked around and we flew back to vancouver and they had you know i don't know five or six fire engines waiting for us on the tarmac and as we were coming back in the the plane was shuddering and there was this like screaming sound coming off the wings and as we got close to cell reception we all texted like you know, tell the kids I love them because we didn't know if we were gonna live. And that night was just so, it was so unbelievably fraught with emotion. Um, saying goodbye to Castiel, saying goodbye to the crew, and then also literally saying goodbye to our families. Um, it was super, super intense. So that, that night really stands out to me. Goodbye, Dean. Thank you.
that kid of yours, before he went wherever, made some changes here. Busted my ass out. And then he, well, he set some things right. Tore down all the walls up here. Heaven ain't just reliving your golden oldies anymore. It's what it always should have been. Everyone happy, everyone together. Rufus lives about five miles that way with Aretha. Thought she'd have better taste. And your mom and dad, they got a place over yonder. It ain't just heaven, Dee. It's the heaven you deserve. And we've been waiting for you. So Jack did all that. Well, Cass helped. Like, I hope this isn't the last time I'll play Sam Winchester. Um, nothing, nothing ever stays dead in Supernatural. Uh, well, I think we, we, I think we caught a glimpse of what Dean does in heaven. I think he, he drives around a baby and, and he pops tops on the, on the front porch of Harvell's and he probably goes over to, to mom and dad's and, and get some lasagna and then he, he goes drive and you know he's i think he's just trying to live his best life i think at a certain point he's uh he's gonna miss the life and he's probably gonna probably get with sam and uh uh tell jack hey put us in coach and that's that's the netflix uh or the amazon or the apple or the uh uh whatever streaming uh hulu type of subscription you uh subscribe to that's the reboot or maybe we just like grab a few gopros and get in the impalas and roll camera <laughs> and then and then just sell it to everybody hey i know a production company that would actually do that can we call them do you know their number i, I have their number yeah <laughs> Amazing. And frankly, and this is obviously on camera, so maybe I shouldn't say this. I feel like the show could go 15 more, honestly. Like, I feel like we have so much that we could do, so many stories we could tell. I mean, we're 15 years in. It's just the show that will never end. Since since it was determined that the show was going to end at 327 episodes, um, I would like to think of this as a see you later, not as a goodbye. Um, so... I don't know where that would be, That's Chuck's ending? No, no, I don't think so. After everything that he has put us through, I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some glorified fanboy get the last word. No doubt, endings are hard. But then again, nothing ever really ends, does it? We won't be gone long, I promise. It came to the point of like, okay, I think this is the right time. Like, I, it was a, it's a weird decision. And then, I'm gonna sell them out. <laughs> when Jensen got to Vancouver two weeks ago, I have a text message from him, he's like, man, crazy being back in Vancouver. I feel like we could do two more years. And I was like, 
Let's talk, man. Like I <laughs> to all the SBN family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, we love you, and we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.